First one is uh, by uh, comedian Marilyn Pittman. I finally found a bank I can really enjoy. It's S&M Banking. And naughty American savings and moan. It's great, you get a free whipping with every deposit. And they have dominatrix tellers and crawl up banking, my favorite. So I went in to see the, the customer sadist representative and she said, shut up, sit down, give me that. They felt great. And then I went over to see my moan officer and he kept me tied up there all day. I had applied for a loan. I was turned down. I felt humiliated. I just loved it. Naughty American savings and moan, the bank that gives you what you really deserve. <laughs> okay, this next one, I, I wasn't going to do it, but you know, some of you might know it. I just, I feel the, se the themes are so universal that um, it, any anybody can get this. I mean, it's just, it's just amazingly beautiful and. and no, no. You, huh? no, it's just, it's just, it's just wonderful. It's, it's, you know, and and it's appropriate. And like I said, some of you might know this, so... Uh, what is that? Ice cream? Playhouse? Sucking on my titties like you wanted me. Calling all the time like Blondie. Check out my Chrissy behind. It's fine. All the time. Like sex on the beaches. What else is in the teaches of peaches? Huh? What? Fuck the pain away. <laughs> That's comedy. I get it. It's quite all right. This is called Reclaiming the Boy. This one's mine. When I was a boy, it was okay that I had a boyfriend. He might be, he, he might have been the boy sitting across from me in chem lab, studying the mutual attraction of objects. Or the boy who snapped my jock in the locker room before we headed to a hot shower after wrestling practice. Maybe the boy was a sleepover, crashing out on the bedroom floor in a sleeping bag, or even in the same bed, my parents down the hall, dreaming naively of weddings and grandkids. When I was a boy, boy was not such a loaded word not yet mutated by the moral majority or demonized by NAMBLA. When they say boy, they mean boy. Boy, is that stupid. When I say boy, I'm not talking freckles or peach fuzz, dirt bikes or skateboards. I'm talking about boys. Boys with rough and tough skin, calloused hands, hairy feet, muscles and stubble, mustaches and beards, salt and pepper crew cuts or heads shaved smooth, Boys with funk. Boys in black leather boots with shiny PVC thongs. Boys in denim or chaps. <laughs> Where's Chris? Where's Chris? <laughs> Boys pierced, tattooed, branded, labeled, marked. Boys with handcuffs and tit clamps, chains and slings, cages, harnesses, dildos, cock rings. Boys dancing, wallowing, swimming, and swallowing. Boys sweating and spitting and slapping and hitting, hitting or missing, groaning or hissing, moaning and pissing. Boys coming and going, showing and blowing, changing, growing, jumping, pumping, humping, rumping, bouncing, trouncing, thrashing, splashing. Boys with huge uncut members, shiny low hangers, tight little rosebuds for stretching and play. I feel like Julie Andrews singing about her favorite things. <laughs> Boy, that's gay. <laughs> anyway, maybe it's more than you wanted to know about boys, but I take it back. I reclaim the word. No silence, no shame. Just boys. Boys, as far as the eye can see. Men call boys and all their toys, and in the middle, me. <laughs> And because I have to. Yes. Yay! Yay. <laughs> 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 Woo! We've heard this one. It's famous. Yes. 
I was on my lunch hour, a break from the drear of a summer job at the shore. The boardwalk bustled with sun-baked tourists. The Baskin Robbins run by Pakistanis was no exception. I just wanted a single dip chocolate chip cookie dough and a sugar cone. I knew it would drip in the haze and humid afternoon air, but I didn't care. Sweat beaded on my brow as I waited in line for my sweet treat. Then I found one ahead of me. A tall-toned and tanned lifeguard in a tank and red speedos leaned his brown body against the window and asked for a triple scoop sundae, extra whipped cream, crushed Oreos, cherries, bananas, wet nuts. <laughs> That could only make him sweeter, I thought, giving him the once-over from the thick thatch of impossibly black hair to his enormous bare feet, which shuffled thoughtlessly. The soles were peppered with sand from the beach, debris from the boards, even some ABC gum, I think. I stared quite consciously at those big, brown, dirty feet. What does it mean that all I could think about was licking them clean while he's on his back, legs in the air, as I stick it up his bum, hearing him scream in ecstasy? Thank you, sir. Please come again. <laughs> As one tree walked away with his, I walked away from mine, casually adjusting myself. After that depraved notion, ice cream just wasn't going to cut it. 